Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the lack of post recently. I've just been super busy with work, but I finally got a full weekend where I don't have to worry about work or anything. So I'm gonna try to crank out a video today for you guys before I leave out of town for work again. But I think what I wanna do today is I'm gonna shoot every single mold that I have. That way you guys can see every single mold that I got. I can shoot molds that I haven't shot in a while and I've never shot every single mold at the same time before so I'm going to see how much plastic it takes to get all of them and then, then if I have time today I might film another video because I've had a mold that I got from angling AI a few weeks ago when it first came out it's that brand new eye mold for pretty much like the bloodline and I forgot that I even had it so this guy right here haven't even shot it but that'll be the next video so stay tuned for that and I'm gonna get all the plastic mixed up and then we'll get to shooting every single mold I got so stay tuned I'm not trying to show off or anything just excited finally got a brand new computer that way i could hopefully get a little better edits well, got all that the fancy colors and whatnot but yeah we'll see i've never sat at a desk and made videos i've always done it off my laptop but i just got sitting down there now but hopefully i can get a little better edits out there for you guys and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick, but let's get that plastic started. These are the two colors that we're gonna be using. Black and phthalo blue. We're going to be using royal blue flake. And if you guys have watched the videos, you know I like to put one of each size in just so it gives it a little depth. Okay, so got the colors, got them all mixed up. And what we will do is start with black because black will go on the top. Darker colors always go on the top. I mean, probably 90% of the time. Here we go. Got a full cup, so. I'm going to do that much. There's that. We want to try to match the thickness of this blue to the black so one doesn't overpower the other. Let's see. We can do this left handed. Oop. This blue is a pretty thick color. I don't know why it's not coming out, but let's see. So this is a really awkward camera angle. I always like to start with the biggest flake first. So nearly three quarters of a full quarter teaspoon of the 0 0.062 then we'll do 0 0.040 we'll do a full quarter of that dump some of that in there and then 0 0.015 I'm gonna try something a little different maybe just throw the bigger flake on that side with the same 0 0.035 in there and then the smaller flake in there. We've never really done that before, but we'll see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a little bit more 0 0.0, this one's 0 0.040, it's just lure works hex cut version. Just gonna add a little bit more to the black. 
and then do something a little different I'm gonna add some 0 0.008 silver flake to the black This silver flake goes a long way, so just start off light. Let's see. Ooh, that looks good. That's what it looks like. Looks pretty good, I think. I think that silver is what it needed. Now that those are done, let's get ready to shoot. Just gotta wait for the plastic to cool down a few degrees, but here's one of the molds that I am not gonna be shooting. It's a brand new angling AI. And then I actually got the actual bloodline mold. The bloodline mold makes the fish. This is the actual mold that makes the bloodlines in it. And then I got the frog tail mold and we're not gonna be using those in this video. I know this this angle is a little weird, but I don't even, I don't know how much I'll even get out of these, but let's get ready to shoot. I guess we'll find out how many molds this fills up. I ran out on that one. Thought I'd be able to fill a little bit more than that. And then I don't think that one's gonna turn out very well. Well, I guess we have a lot more work to do than I thought we would, so stay tuned. So if you guys do run out of plastic and you have a lot more to shoot, you can just put Plastisol straight into the cup, even if it has colors. All you gotta do is just fill them up, put them in the microwave, Make sure that it gets up to 350 and then just add a few more colors here and there add your flake and then you're back up to what it was before you even shot it the first time so we'll be back once this is all done and I'll show you guys what I mean while that's all heating up maybe we'll go over these real quick so I think this is a four inch stick bait but we shall see here in a sec those guys you got the blue on one side black on the other and I forgot that I put a little bit of silver in the black so I think it was good I might need to make the black a little bit darker maybe a couple drops but I can definitely do that now so those look a lot better than I thought they would the only thing is about these is they do not have salt and I'm using swim bait plastic for everything so these are going to be a little tough that's just how I shoot all my molds when I just do it on video instead of for a customer if I was going to do this for a customer I would do it all correct I would put salt go the whole 10 yards and make sure it's all good so there's those six inch Same as the fours, but a little bit bigger. Probably see details a little bit better. So there's those. I'm excited. These look good. Throw these in the bath and get ready to open up the other ones. This is that new mold that I shot that I just did in the last video or two of those I think those look sick the only problem that, that I've had shooting this mold is those little feet I don't know it's definitely the mold because I've asked someone else that has the same mold and they said it does the same thing so I guess it's just some sort of mold defect this is what this looks like about two and a half minutes in with a 900 watt microwave, I believe. 
So when we get it here, we'll just mix it around, kind of stir everything in there. When I put plastisol in with a color like this, instead of just running the whole thing out of color and then just making 100% new color, it's just, it's easier, but you kind of have to babysit it a little more, kind of mix it just so it doesn't burn. This is the Ned. I bet some of them probably took, but not all of them. Okay, well there might be air bubbles. Yep, this one's got air bubble some of it didn't fill yeah that one's got air bubble that one's got a slight air bubble air bubble air bubble air bubble air bubble good good this one's good good so six out of twelve good throw those in the water bath and that was the last of the molds so we'll see when we get the plastic all heated up and I'll show you guys how you add the color to plastisol. It's it's a little bit different, but I'll see you guys when we get ready to add the color. Plastic is all heated up. When I add plastisol to plastic that's already been heated up past 350, I like to do it every minute, pull it out, stir it up. Um, I like to get it over 350, just that way I know 100% that it is cooked and then I'll let it sit for a minute, stir it every 30 seconds while it's sitting out, and then I'll throw it back in just to make sure that it's all heated up, just in case there's something that's maybe at the bottom that didn't get stirred up right, or you know, just I just don't want it to fall apart if it's for a customer, just because if you don't heat up plastic fully, 100%, it will fall apart. What we're gonna do, add a few drops of this phthalo blue, I guess that's it. I don't know how many drops that was. Get the black. Mix it up and see, because I think we wanted it a little bit darker. And then what we'll do, more flake just because, you know, the dog obviously needs it. Probably get about half a, maybe a little bit more. 0 0.040. zero I'll do most of that and put the rest in here then I'd grab a little bit more to throw in here 0 0.015 0 .008 zero eight to the black so now we're good with the colors, the flake. Throw these two back in for a minute or so. Warm them up and shoot the rest of these. I didn't know it was gonna be this long of a process, but. Top them all off. I guess I only have enough to do four normal sized molds, I guess. The molds are ready to open up. Let's see. I love this mold because it's got this little divider so it divides the the sprue in two so you can pretty much reuse most of the sprue those guys this guy's got a little dent but other than that they're good yep, there's those I'll set those right here because we got the smaller version
same thing in this one. Well, there's those. There's these guys. I think these are two and three quarters. And then these guys, three and three quarters. So there's a difference. So I'll throw these in the water bath. I've only ever shot this mold once. It's just that wacky worm from one of my previous videos. It's a quite. It's a different mold. There's those guys. That'll be good for the places around me since that's all they eat are wacky worms. Never thrown this, but I could only imagine it's gonna have that good swing from each side since it's pretty heavy, actually. Here's the fourth one out of four. Came out great. I don't see any dents or anything. It's the first time I've ever shot it with one solid color. Great laminate line. So, let's get ready to shoot the others. Plastic's heated up, ready to shoot. Trying a little bit of a different angle. Hopefully it looks a little bit better than complete top view, but Guess we'll find out. Alright. As you can see, made more plastic again. Next round is up. I like these. Can't really see that laminate line, but it's pretty solid. Got a little bleed over right here, but I like when it doesn't look natural like that, so. There's the frog. Here's the first one we shot, the crappie mold. And I shot it upside down. Not really a crappie color to begin with. So, great action on the tails. It's kind of hard to see, but. Nice, nice crisp lines, laminate lines. It shoots really, really nice. Ooh. There's these. There's four of them, but so large I can. Only hold two. I just need to get that skirt. He's got the perfect end to put a skirt on. One of those uh, soft plastic skirts. I think that since this thing already has so much action, I think that would look amazing with the skirt right on the tip. One day. One day I'll get that, so. Huh? This mold shot good always shoots good so bath for those and here's this last one i think this is a that twin tail grub type thing core shot so yep this thing is sweet yeah this is the first core shot mold I ever got don't really make much out of it but 
shoots really well. But get those. These shoot well every single time, so. Now, we're gonna whip up the next round and probably have to make more plastic again, but we'll see. Oh, hopefully I can get this one. Yeah. All right. Got them all. This is a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. But. All right. So we got these done. Push these over there. These must be the yep, jerk baits. <laughs> These got perfect laminate lines on them. And this is Angling AI Stinger. That's what those look like. Pretty good mixture in the tail. Maybe a little bit more blue than black, but. Man, really good stuff. All right, next one, got the five inch kicker. I don't make much in this one, but I do know that it shoots really good laminates, or laminates shoot really well in this, I should say. There we go. And all you do when you get these things, just break off the tails like this pull out that little, little plastic piece right there get a little kicker right there they're small but mighty so so those are good to go in the bath another angling AI craw well not another this one mixed really well You can definitely see the contrast in that. That one looks that one looks really nice. For the last one of this round, we have four and a half inch finesse. It's definitely do a lot better with some salt. All I'm doing is shooting these guys for fun. So so I didn't throw any salt in there, but doesn't mean that if I had a customer order these that I would not throw salt because I definitely would. That's what I have on my website. I throw salt in every sort of worm. Yeah. This is the last of that round. So we'll get that plastic mixed back up and see you when we get ready to shoot. These already to unmold. This one is literally the same exact as this one. I just used it to kind of keep all these together. So I didn't shoot that one because I, I would not have had enough plastic. 
What is this? Shot these upside down. But these are the six and a half inch finesse worms. Basically, same exact thing as the four and a halfs, but shot upside down. So there's those. I'll open this guy so I can get this big one out of the way. So seven inch curly tails. There's the laminate line. Yeah, there's those, got four of those. I think these are craws, yep. So you can see the claws mixed pretty well. I don't know if you can actually really see that on camera. But, it's like a smoked blue on the, on the claws. Looks pretty cool. Now one to the side, open this, it's just a normal 5 inch stick bait mold. Got pretty good lamb in the line. Most of these turned out really well, so. And that's it. Here's the final product of everything. Got all of these. I don't even know how many baits total. Maybe about 80. Did one cup at a time, which should have done two. Probably would have been done a lot quicker. This is the overview. thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell notifications just so you guys can see when I post because it hasn't been consistent lately because of my job. So if you guys like it and want to see more like this, like I said, hit the like, hit the notification button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.